Hey guys, I'm Jay and today we're going to look at a damn handsome Real Steel M21 model number RS7321. Okay, this is a great knife. Buy it. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys at the next video. Take care. Ha ha ha, Jay made a funny. Okay, okay guys, for real this time. <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. Guys, I'm Jay, and we are going to look at, well, a somewhat handsome Real Steel M21, model number RS7321. So let's get started with the features. Then we will go over my seven likes and dislikes, and make sure you stay till the end, because you will want to see the full specs on this knife. Now, I know that you are super busy, so what you need is a knife review that gets right to the point. Do yourself a favor, click on subscribe. The Real Steel M21 is actually designed by Liang Gang. Say that three times fast. It's a uh, manual action uh, liner lock with a blade that's actually riding on just uh, bronze washers. The deployment is accomplished with these friggin' gigantic thumb studs here uh, and now while we're looking at this blade it's about 3.37 inches of 3.15 millimeter thick 8CR 14 MOV and real steel is very proud of that fact because they actually listed it very prominently on the blade I know I'm sorry guys it's hard for you guys to see but trust me they're very proud of this steel. <laughs> the handle, 4.625 inches. So uh, handle to blade ratio yeah, could be better. The thickness, 0.77. This is a fat, stinking broomstick. The closed width, so how much room that this is actually going to take up in your pocket is wow uh one and a half inches let's go ahead and get a weight on this 5.7 ounces that is going to be about the equivalent of oof, one two three four five six seven seven is that right yeah seven double a batteries now i have seen some variants of the real steel M21. Actually, uh, Sanren Mu makes a, a version of this. It's actually much, much smaller. And when I say smaller, I mean like under three inch uh, blade. I haven't even gotten to the best part of the M21. It has a couple very deep, dark secrets. Well, not really deep, dark secrets, but it has a couple of hidden features. Uh, the Glass breaker. Bam! Look at that. Can opener slash bottle opener slash tape cutter. I don't know. But, you know, it's just, it's really comforting to know that I can actually use this to open a can. Even if it's got a pull tab on it, I'm still using this damn thing to open that can. Now, if we go ahead and flip it over on the other side. Yep. You're probably saying to yourself, oh, Jay, gut hook uh, slash seatbelt cutter. Nope, nope, nope. This, I actually use this to, uh, I'll hook it onto like a zip line. And then I hang on to it and I'm able to slide all the way down the zip line. Awesome, isn't it? Okay, I gotta quit jacking around. Let's be serious. Seven likes and dislikes. Let's st start out with the, what, curb appeal. So this is gonna be the aesthetics, the appearance, how it looks. Uh, I actually really do like the aesthetics. I like the contoured G10 handle scales. I really like this wide blade with that. Look at that big, giant belly on it. 
Now, the blade to handle ratio we already discussed and it kind of stinks. This is uh, hollow ground, so believe it or not, it's an excellent slicer. Number two, Ergos. This is gonna be my first gripe. And I'm gonna tell you why. The honeycomb G10 pattern does create a really, really good solid grip, but if we look at the balancing, see if I can do this here. Yep. It is very, very handle heavy because of those included uh, little tools there on the butt end. Yeah, so very, very handle heavy. Um, the jimping, my goodness, do you think they could have added more? So let's see, one there, there, there. What's that, three, four, five. Five areas of jimping. Thank goodness. On the positive side, now this roll of uh, toilet paper shaped handle is actually, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, it really does kind of fill out my hand. So it is comfortable. Although these G10, I really, I'm having a hard time believing that this is G10, but well, whatever. Uh, it feels very, very plasticky, which is why, I don't know, I'm doubting whether or not it is in fact G10. I mean, Real Steel, okay, they're a reputable company, so I'm sure it is. It just feels kind of cheap and uh, plasticky, sorry. Number three, materials. We already discussed G10 with HCR 14 MOV. Uh, you know, not the best uh, blade steel, but I guess considering how much this cost, um, it's fine. Number four, action. Now this was actually a like. Uh, it has really nice, smooth action, you know, riding on those bronze bushings. And the detent is very, very strong. I'm, I am unable to shake this guy open. And I know earlier I made fun of the thumb studs, but I do understand why they are oversized. And that's just so you can get at them with, you know, like a gloved hand. And now it's not just a standard liner lock, it's actually an inset. So think of uh, kind of like Kershaw Kershaw Blur, same kind of lock. Number five, pocket presence. This is actually gonna be a dislike. Now, the clip that you see here is not the standard stock clip that came on the M21. It actually came with this clip. And so if you would put it on kind of like right, jeez, uh, let me see if I can do this, guys. Yeah, look at that. That is going to be a lot of knife sticking out of your pants pocket. So needless to say, I do not use that clip. Um, close width of one and a half inches, that's a lot. That is a lot. And 0.77 handle thickness, again, gigantic. One position clip is just gonna be uh, tip down right hand only. I understand why, I mean, with the inclusion of these extra tools, it kind of limits the, uh, the space on where you can actually attach the pocket clip, but one position. Number six, the weight. Yeah, that's gonna be a dislike as well. Um, what did we say, 5.6 ounces? That is, that is a lot considering 3.37 inch blade that is 3.15 millimeters thick. And this hog weighs 5.6. I mean, 
obviously that extra weight is also a direct effect of these tools, but that's a lot. So that's gonna have to be a dislike. Number seven, price, 35 bucks. I actually paid for this. I mean, it's, that's a good price. It's, this is a really good hmm, utility knife. This would be a great knife to maybe leave in your car or a bug out bag. Yeah, I mean, it's, this would be a good maybe tackle box or a glove compartment kind of knife. Not something that you really want to rely on, you know, for everyday use, but for occasional emergency uses, absolutely. I mean, if you can find these, um, I have actually, before I started recording this video, I did try to see if I could locate um, this exact model and I was actually having a hard time. So to very, very quickly summarize, we said curb appeal was a like, uh, ergos was a dislike, materials, I mean, uh, a reluctant like, uh, action was a like, pocket presence dislike, weight dislike, and price like. So what is that? One, two, three, three to four. Um, I can't, I, I can't honestly say that I recommend this knife. Let me say this, uh, in a tackle box, in a glove compartment, Absolutely, I would recommend it for those purposes. As an EDC, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But you know what, I, I had to have this thing. It's, it's unique. So anytime I see something that looks a little different from everything in my collection, I just have to go ahead and snatch it up. So no, I, I can't recommend the Real Steel M21. Um, not for everyday use. For occasional, maybe once every 10 years use. Sure, sure, why not? So guys, guys, I almost forgot. Jeez, comparison time. What the heck, Jay? Get with the program. Benchmade, Griptilian, Spyderco Manix 2, and Kershaw. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, M21 is, goodness, quite beefy. So if you are looking for a knife that has a decent blade with a can opener and a knife that you can actually also use to slide down a uh, zip line, then here it is, the real steel M21. And if this video answered most of your questions, why not just go ahead and leave a, a like? Now, stick around because I'm going to show you the specs here in just a second. But I wanted to thank you guys for stopping by, letting me talk nice with you. Yes, this review was a little um, more on the uh, humorous side because, you know, it, it, this is a knife that I really do not take too seriously so I figured the review would uh, kind of follow that format as well so thanks again you guys um, I'll see you at the next video take care